Hello everyone, so in this video, let us talk about another easy problem from lead code. The problem name is find the pivot integer. So the problem statement goes like this, that you are given a positive integer n, find out the pivot integer x such that the sum of all the elements between 1 and x inclusive equals to the sum of all the elements between n and x inclusive. So return that pivot integer. So what you can see is that if n is equal to 8, you just have to find out that there is a sequence from 1 till n. Let's take an example here. For n equal to 8, there's a sequence like this. 1, 2, 3, till 8. Okay. Now I have to find out any pivot point, like any point in this particular series, such that the sum of all the left elements from 1 till that particular element. Let's say for this particular example, the pivot is 6. So from 1 till 6, sum is equal to from 6 till 8. Okay. That's the overall thing. And the answer is 21 for that. So let's say that it is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Then if 6 is a pivot, then the sum of all elements from 1 till 6 is equal to 6 till 8. Okay. That's the whole thing. You, have, you just have to find out whether there is a pivot that fulfills this particular condition. If there is, then return that particular pivot element. If there is not, return minus 2. That's all the problem statement. Now, you can do this in a very brute force way as well because the cutting is are pretty much small. But you know one formula. The formula is that if you want to find out the sum of all the elements from 1 till n, that is, let's say 1 plus 2 plus 3 till n. The answer for this particular series is n into n plus 1 divided by 2. Okay. This is the very standard formula that you all know. Now let us try to use this formula. To find a solution for this. Let's move some, some things out from here. Now what you can understand is that let's just take this is a series. What you can do is that start taking every element as the pivot. So let's just take any example. Let's say if I want to take three as a pivot, I just have to first find out the sum of all the elements from one till three. So let's say if this is i for every i element, let's say i equal to three, i equal to four, every element, the sum from one till i is equal to you can directly just get that i into i plus 1 divided by 2 that is on the left side so you can actually see that the left sum is equal to i into i plus 1 divided by 2 so i will do a for loop from 1 till n taking every element now if i take every element as pivot element i have to find out the sum of the left half by taking this as a sum and now finding out the right half the right half as you can see is that this element for this, what you can do is that first find out the sum of all the elements from 1 till n because you are given the very maximum element that is n. So n into n plus 1 divided by 2 is the total sum. n into n plus 1 divided by 2 is the total sum from here to here. Now what you can do is that remove out all the sum from i minus 1. If I remove out all the sum like this, i minus 1, I will get all the sum from i till n. So if i minus 1, so total sum till any n is this. If I just put i minus 1 in this, like in this particular formula, so it is i into i minus 1, so it will can, so if I put i minus 1 here, it becomes i minus 1 into i divided by 2. That is the sum of the elements from 1 till i minus 1, subtracted from the total sum till n, and you will get all the sum from i till n. Okay, so that is how you can get the right half sum okay and you can directly just get out left half sum and right half sum for any particular i you can just do a for loop for every possible i and if at any possible i you will get this particular condition matched that the left half sum and right half sum turns out to be same return this particular i like at which particular index this particular condition is fulfilled if you doesn't hit this condition at all return minus one so it's just a for loop okay so, and these are just constant operation so the overall time of city for this particular problem is o of n only because we are just doing a one for and that's it 
that's all our logic and the code part for this particular problem if you still have any doubts you can mention in the comment box of this particular video i will see you in the next video coding and bye